the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. Hello, partner. Hope you don't mind I layer up a bit more. If I don't, I'll be colder than a snake that forgot to hibernate. <laughs> so cold. Snakes have to hibernate. They're, they're uh, cold-blooded. They'd be dead, so it'd be extra cold. Um, hope you don't mind if I take my shoes off. Just so happens to be leg day, so I got my skater shoes. Cheers, pre-workout powwow. Today I'm rocking my everyday ride, the Isatori Morph X5, never quit. Ah, cherry frost. Today's a quick one, leg day. I already warmed up, so the shoe thing was just a formality, you know, create some predictability in your life, in mine. Uh, anyhow, I already did, I already hit my calves, five sets, single leg, leg calf raise. I uh, did some backward walk, some body weight ATG split squats, and body weight Peterson step ups. So I got some blood flowing in there. Felt like I needed a little bit extra, not just because it's cold, but on some cold days with uh, many knee injuries, my knees bite me a little more today. And I'm kind of in a rehab process with it where I'm really trying to get the muscles strengthened above and below the joint uh, because. It's only hurting because I took a, a month and a half off about a month back and um, you know, I'm just getting, getting everything strengthened up and tuned up to be able to handle the stress and the workload that I want to put on it with martial arts and everything that I need to do. And so um, on that note, today I'm going to hit uh, a Jimmy rigged setup for both hamstring curls, which I've done before, but today I'm going to do hamstring, uh, or I mean, quad extensions, leg extensions, uh, to get some extra blood flow in my quad and in, in and through the knee area and in the hamstring before I do a compound lift. Um, because I'm not progressively overloading my compound lift for the legs. That's to keep things um, healthy, tuned up, athletic, explosive. I was going to throw jumps in on this leg day, but again, my knee's not quite feeling up to par for that. So I got to get that healthier, stronger through some of these movements. Um, and yeah, you know, I guess a lot of people call it pre-exhausting the, uh, the quads and the hamstrings before your compound lift. Um, that sounds cool. So we're going to pre-exhaust, but really I don't need uh, my compound lift of Bulgarian split squats for the lower body day to be an all out um, everything I've got strength movement. Um, going to try to control through the movement and move it as fast as I can from the bottom to the top, keep it explosive, keep the legs worked, moving, tuned up, functional. Um, but I put a lot of the volume from my legs into my arms and other growth need areas. So um, I think that's really going to do it today. Um, hamstring curls, leg extensions, Bulgarian split squats. Let's go get it. And little bit more. Let's see how 20 pounds feels on this specific pulley system. So I got a uh, pad around the middle of the barbell. I'm setting that up a little below, uh, like right below my butt cheek, basically. I'm going to put the back of my working leg, my hamstring, on the pad. The other leg is going to go behind the bar. Ah. This number right here. Okay, so let's see how this feels. Maybe if I go here with it, let's try. Yeah, that's all right. It's okay. It'll do. Um, make it work. I think. Yeah, there it is. Kind of find my tension point a little bit. Also, get it right over here a little bit. Boom. And because I don't want to take this off, it's a, it's a hassle to take off, put on the other ankle, set that up, hook it up. I'm going to just do kind of an exhaustion model here where I take this to about a rep before failure, sit there, five, ten seconds. Ugh. All 
All right. And now I'm going to just pause for a few seconds, do as many reps as I can, and do that until I hit 25 more reps. Here we go. Oh. Oof. Seven. It's rough too because it doesn't quite let the burn out, which is good. I got a, a good burn going in this VMO muscle here on my right leg, which is my kind of injury affected knee, which is hard to get a burn in there. Twelve. Thirteen more reps. Seventeen. Eighteen. One more rest. I can't, I didn't count the first set on my right leg. So I'm just going to go to 20 on this leg. So I feel like I did about 20 to 25 on the right. I definitely don't want to do more reps on my left leg. I want to match the right, if anything, because my left leg is much bigger. And I already lost count. I'm going to call this nine, 10. Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. All right, now the real 25 count begins. Ooh. Nine. Ah, <sighs> fifteen. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to switch it right over to ham hamstring curls. All right, starting on the right leg again. Locking in. And let's get it going. <clears throat> All right, I'll stop it there. That was 15. Had to swing up to get that last one. Uh, again, I'll go to 25. Take the breaks just for a few seconds at a time. Kind of let that lactic acid out of there. One. Mm -hmm. Six. Uh. 
11. Ah. I like this uh I like this exhaustion training every now and then, especially if you're in a time crunch or if you're just not feeling super motivated and you don't want to think about doing you know several sets of this and several sets of that. You're just like, all right, I got one giant set to do, but it's gonna be over in no time. There's something motivating about that. Crank it out. Uh. It feels so much lighter on this leg, smoother and more natural range of motion. But I still stop at 15 so that I don't get give the stronger leg even more strong, even more of a strength disparity between the two legs. And I lost count, so I'm going to say this is about 15 right there. Yeah. Give myself a haircut the other day. Had to go back in today. Take it a little shorter off the top a little bit. I used to only be able to cut my hair when it was short, you know, because your, your guards only go so long. But looked it up on Amazon, and they now have guards up to three inches because I can't scissor cut my own hair, you know. That'd be pretty tough. I'd be like learning a new, a new craft. I'm not going to do that. But I, I can do it with buzzers. So now I don't have to go pay a barber, which is cool. One less thing. <laughs> Although it's really tedious. Past two inches of, with a guard, it's really tedious. You got to pull out each piece of the hair you want to be able to cut. <sighs> Anyhow, oh, whoops. <clears throat> ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. 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 Ah.
and sit on my freezing cold hands between sets. It's so cold in here. And my knee is still feeling a little, a little angry that I'm giving them too much movement. So I'm just gonna do one more set here because it would feel weird to stop after just one set of Bulgarians. So I'm gonna do one more, make it two. Ah. Ah. Post-workout powwow. Get a little hip flexor stretch in. Speaking of stretching, I'm one of those guys that always bites off more than he can chew. A little perfectionistic. So if I'm doing something, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So I used to stretch and felt like it wasn't complete until I stretched every single muscle of my entire body and did every different hamstring variation. I don't do that anymore. One, because I don't care nearly as much about stretching as I did when I was playing football. Uh, but two, I need to have find the stretches that have the highest leverage to getting me to the flexibility goals I want, keeping thing, things loose so that it's something I can stick to over the long term, and actually progress and get more flexible. So I pretty much just stretch my hip flexors my glutes, and I do a split variation. So or I just, you know, the side splits and the front splits, sometimes I'll do the fronts, but uh, I can almost hit a front split on both sides when I'm real warm. So I wanna try to get those side ones. So I pretty much do the side splits. I won't even do it right now after this workout. I'll do it You're watching some TV later with the family or something. Um, I'll hit my hip flexors and glutes right now. Um, maybe I'll show you the whole routine one of these days. That'll be a video in, in and of itself. Um, today was probably not the most fun video to watch, but that is my honest, truthful leg day for the day. Warmed up with backwards walk, body weight ATG split squats, and body weight Peterson step ups. Uh, an exhaustion, one big exhaustion set on leg extensions, and the same on leg curls with two sets of uh, fast moving Bulgarian split squats, two sets of 10, 50 pounds each dumbbell. Um, but that's good for me. Now, ideally, I'd like to be able to throw some jumps in there. But again, I went very low volume today because my knee is not agreeing with much at all that I'm doing today. But once that gets strong and healthy, I'm going to be able to add a lot more stress uh, to it. So the rest of my body to adding the martial arts into, into the uh, routine. Um, and I, I honestly probably still won't even do much more volume on the legs because again, I've backed off of some of the volume on the legs and pushed more volume into my arms, I guess lower legs, calves, and uh, kind of shoulders, neck. You know, I'm trying to build up some of my underdeveloped muscles. I don't really want to have overdeveloped legs and just have it be harder to fit into pants and be stiffer, less uh, flexible and maybe mobile. Um, I've talked about this previously. I worked up to, you know, mid 600s on the squat. And uh, at my strongest, it was awesome, jacking around a lot of iron. But I was stiffer in my, my football movements and being able to turn my hips around and flip my hips and change direction and accelerate. My stride was a bit shorter. Um, and I was moving every day, you know, it wasn't like I wasn't doing those movements. So um, a lot of people can argue, well, you know, if you're only lifting and you're not doing those movements and gaining that muscle into those applicable movements, then maybe that's why. And it's like, well, I don't know. I was doing that. I think you hit a point where you grow the, the quads and the 
adductors and high hamstrings so big that, it, of course, they're going to, you know, be chafing into each other and it's going to be harder to move around. You big galoot. Ugh. Anyhow, um, let's keep getting after it. Even on the days where your body's saying, ah, let's skip it. Try not to skip it. Keep the body moving. You'll feel better when you do. What are you becoming? Go get it.